Welcome to Learning Tech 101. My name is Renique, and today what we're going to talk about is network types. So there are seven known network types out there. So we have your LAN, PAN, WLAN, CAN, MAN, WAN, and SAN. Hello, welcome to Learning Tech 101. My name is Renique, and today what we're going to talk about is network types. So there are seven network types. You have your personal area network, local area network, wireless local area network, campus area network, metropolitan area network, wide area network, and storage area network. We are first going to start off with the personal area network. So this is a network that is sent around a person and their devices. So communications such as Bluetooth or USB are going to be considered personal area networks. So this is things that you have connected to your laptop. So your mouse, keyboard, um, anything plugged into USB considered personal area network. Those things connected to your phones. So headphones or any other type of devices are also going to be considered person area networks. Next we got your local area network. So this consists of computers connected within a limited area such as a house, lab, or an office building. LANs use Ethernet, Wi-Fi, or a combination of both. So anything that's connected in your house is all going to be considered part of the same local area network. Now you can say the same thing for small businesses everything connected into their network part of the same local area network so the thing about with local area networks one of those kind of characteristics is you're seeing singular network devices so like one router maybe a switch two at the most or something like that and then all the devices that are connected within that area next we got your wireless local area network so this is going to be a LAN with all devices connected wirelessly users and devices can be placed anywhere and move anywhere in this coverage area they're easy and inexpensive to install. So if you think about with the wireless local area network, most houses, even though we talked about them being a local area network, are actually really going to be wireless local area networks because you're going to have more devices possibly connected using Wi-Fi than you would actually physically cabled into your router. So you're going to see more of those in homes than typically you may see the local area network nowadays. Next, we got your campus area network. So this provides networking of multiple local area networks across a limited area. Each building is typically going to be its own local area network. Now, most campus area networks are going to consist of a single company, university, or government agency. So they're going to own multiple buildings within a small area. You could say within a couple blocks or something of that sort. Each of those buildings are its own local area network. So if we're talking about a college, so you could say the, the, the dorms is one local area network. This hall is another local area network or uh, the library or whatever. So each of them are their own local area networks, but they're all connected together to be able to support that overall network for whatever single organization it belongs to. Same thing with businesses. You think of a lot of the bigger businesses, Microsoft, Apple, Google, all of them have campuses a lot of times where their headquarters are at. So they're going to own a few buildings within that area, all of them connected together to be able to form that campus area network. Next one we got is your metropolitan area network. So this provides networking across a larger area such as a whole city or county. Uh, they're going to possibly even be made up of multiple organizations within the city. Now you can have this where it's multiple or you could actually have it where it's just one. So um, all of them connected together when it's multiple uh, are going to be part of the same metropolitan area network connecting to one network that's supporting all. Then you may have it where it's one single organization, but they have multiple offices spread throughout the city. So all connecting back maybe to the headquarters or something of that sort. So that's another example of a metropolitan area network. Next, we got your wide area network. So this covers a large geographical area within its network. WAN networks can span cities, countries, or even the entire globe. The internet is going to be your big, biggest example of a wide area network. So now this is where anything you are connecting beyond city limits. Now you're looking to where you're now getting into a wide area network at that point. Then our last one is going to be the storage area network. So this is a network that allows access to storage devices instead of general networking purposes. 
SANs are dedicated to storage devices and the servers that need to access them, allow servers to access tape libraries and disk arrays that are locally attached devices. So things about your one thing about your SANs is that it's storage that's accessed through the network. You may work at an organization, you got like this C, the Z drive where everyone is storing files and things like that and able to access other things in there. That is going to be consider, considered an example of a SAN because to you it looks like it's a local drive on your computer, but it's actually one that is accessed through the network. You can also think of SANs as possibly being an example of uh, Google Drive or your Apple iCloud or Microsoft OneDrive. Those are storage areas that the only way to access them is by being connected to the internet. And so you can't just walk up to some server and be able to get the stuff that you save into your iCloud. Only way you're going to be able to get that is if you have a connection through the internet to where your iCloud storage is at. I hope that you found this helpful. I thank you for watching.